you ever hear the statement that inflation is a hidden tax? Uh, interesting things I've been finding out as I continue to research. Um, I believe in lifelong learning and research. Not that uh, it's ever learning and ever, never came, able to come to the knowledge of the truth, as which the Bible condemns, because I have come to the knowledge of the truth. Uh, but when you learn all the time and you say, I'd like to know answers to these questions, well, that's, you know, what you should be doing as a Christian. But specifically, so if you're in ministry, you need to study and to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Um, 2 Timothy 2.15 is where you can find that verse, if you don't know. But uh, inflation. What is inflation? Well, if you have precious metals, uh, precious metals really don't change that much in value. I um, heard a guy say at one point in time that uh, if you went back to the first century and you got a finely made um, Roman toga like the suit that they would wear back then, um, <clears throat> it would cost about one ounce of gold. And interestingly, um, if you would go now and get a finely made uh, suit, like a suit and tie as a man, it costs about $2,000, one ounce of gold. Uh, isn't that interesting that... Uh, for 2,000 years, the value of gold really doesn't change that much, the real value of gold. But you say, well, but the price of gold goes up and down. Uh, well, it goes up and down because of the perceived uh, purchasing power of the dollar. See, when the dollar first came out, they were uh, making it look like it was very good. Back in the early 1900s, with the Federal Reserve Act and everything else. But as they print more money, obviously the money is devalued more. Um, <clears throat> supply and demand and so you start to print more money the value of things uh, or the value of the dollar goes down and the cost of everything goes up you know why is it that uh, gas back um, in the past you hear stories back in the 1950s and whatever it was 25 cents a gallon well now it's you know 350 or something like that right around there three dollars and fifty cents what happened? Did gas get more expensive or did the dollar become less valuable? You see? But what they do, what this whole system is about, is it is about um, paying people less. So they want to, the big businesses and things out there, they want to pay people less money. And so, but you can't just say, hey, you know what? You were making $20 last year, but we're going to drop you down to $10 or something. You can't do that, but you can do it with inflation, see? So you can pay your employee less because the currency has, has hyperinflated and it's not worth as much now. And the cost of living is going up. And of course, it's a hidden tax as well. So you're destroying the wealth of the people and you're also causing the, the price of things to go up. So it's another way that you can basically get money in, extort money from the people. And um, <clears throat> the Bible talks about in the book of James, chapter 5, we're going over this this morning, my wife and I, Revelation 18, comparing it with James chapter 5. And um, you have the thing of these employers, and they're keeping back certain prices of things by fraud. Huh. You mean like inflation? No, nothing like that, because the King James Bible is too archaic. We can't understand it. Uh, there's a plant back there, sort of look a, looks like a big shrub. I'm trying to see if I can get that on video. And there's little red berries all over it. That's a high bush cranberry right back there, if you can see that. But uh, just a very interesting thing. I mean, the, when you understand um, the Bible... And you understand what's really going on out there, the reality of this world, you start to realize, you know, just how accurate the Bible is. And for somebody to reject it and say, oh, it's just a book of fairy tales, like the atheists like to say, uh, it shows a very high degree of ignorance. But, you know, the Bible calls them fools. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. You know, um, so don't ever let these atheists, you know, diminish your faith in the word of God. Study the Word of God, study what's going on in the world, and you'll see how the Bible is extremely accurate and describes things perfectly. But um, the other thing that you'll see repeated throughout 
Revelation chapter 18 is this thing of in one hour so great riches has come to naught. It's the abundance of her delicacies, her costliness. Um, the Vatican, which has probably the biggest bank in the world, um, if you turn in terms of power and things like that, uh, the Vatican Bank and the, the wealth of the Vatican, um, that whole system, they get this artificial wealth creation through the debt system. And you'll see this thing with like the, the Sam Friedman or Bankman Fried, or I forget what the guy's name is, the FTX guy, the cryptocurrency guy. And you know, all this money in the cryptocurrency and just, just boom, loses it all. <laughs> And you'll see these people, these Bitcoin rich people, and one minute they have lots lots of money, they're billionaires, and the next, boom, it's gone. And you think, how could you lose a billion dollars or something and just, boom, like that? Well, because it's not real wealth, you see. Um, the fact of the matter is, real wealth is something that you can hold, it's tangible, it's physical. Look at Abraham in the Old Testament. Um, he had physical goods. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the ability to be able to raise his own food and, and, um, you know, do things for himself. And that's the problem with debt. You get yourself into debt and it's, it's robbing you of wealth with the perception that you have, oh, look at my, all my stuff, my house, my car, my, it's not yours, it's somebody else's. And you're actually paying probably, you know, on average about three times the original purchase price because of the interest payments. So two thirds of that that you're paying for is going to interest to make the bankers more money to keep the scam going. See, and that whole system, this whole financial system is going to be completely wrecked by God. You know, and what are we going to go into in the millennial kingdom? The thousand year reign of Jesus Christ physically on the earth. That time period, it's going to be growing things and agrarian lifestyle because that's true wealth, you know. As I've shown many times, I mean, even this right here, this is birch. And I'm learning more about this, that birch leaves and a lot of the parts of the birch there are actually very medicinal. They're very good for you. You can make tea out of this. And if you're into the sauna uh, thing, a lot of the, the uh, traditional way of doing sauna, you actually take these and you can, you can kind of hit your skin with it and stuff when you're really hot. There's a, some really good health benefits to that. I'm reading a book by a herbalist right now and he's talking about that you know birch leaves are are uh, very good for your health um, the yellow looking flowers there that's goldenrod as I've said in other videos the high bush cranberries over there I mean there's wealth out here that is not uh, denominated in dollar signs okay but it's it's very high health out here that you can have uh, wild prickly lettuce over there and I see there's fireweed a lot of it's going to the seed thing yet but there's a lot of things out in nature that are very high levels of uh, being good for you so uh, but you know these people will trade all of that these uh, false rich men this new money and they you know they come out with this whole thing of of uh oh look at us we're wealthy we go to uh you know i heard of a actually heard of a story here recently a guy was talking about a french restaurant that um you are expected okay not you can come in and buy whatever you want no you're expected to spend a couple thousand dollars and the average meal cost there is five thousand dollars for a meal who would spend five thousand dollars on you know going to a restaurant that's insanity but you see the perceived wealth, the, the artificial wealth of the debt world, you have to get rid of it. You can't hold on to it for a long time because it's constantly losing value. So again, inflation, it hurts everybody. Even the people that are making lots of money from it, supposedly, um, you make lots of money, but then what do you do with your money? <laughs> it's, I mean, the whole thing is just such a giant scam. You just think, boy, people would have just stuck with God's form of money precious metals there's only so much precious metal on the earth which means you control the the money supply you limit the supply of what money is out there and then the prices of everything stays stable for thousands of years but oh no we now we have to have our our new types of money and we want digital currencies and all this other stuff yeah that's going to end in failure absolute failure 
and when you get down to the prophecy in Revelation 18, it ends in one hour. How do you end it in one hour if it's physical? See? Um, and they, they have gold and silver and precious stones and, you know, fine wood and cinnamon and odors and frankincense. You know, they have all the different stuff that's mentioned in Revelation 18, but uh, they're so used to their, you know, cryptocurrency, digital currency world at that point in time that they just, well, what do we do with this? <laughs> they don't know how to barter. They don't know how to do anything for themselves. They've lost all their skills. A lot of the rich men right now, they, they, uh, they don't know a thing about how to survive or how to come out here and find what things to eat and whatever else and make tea out of. And they don't have a clue. And the biggest thing is they don't have God. They don't have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So just crazy. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. Just wanted to make a little point about that. Uh, don't get drawn into the whole artificial wealth thing and all this fake money and everything else. Uh, the system's going to really, you know, there's talk of a stock market crash and there's, you know, all this other stuff. They get, they go through the cycles and things of, you know, raising up their false money and then they tear it down and then they raise up a new system and it just messed up in the head. Uh, don't envy these quote unquote rich people because they're not really rich. If you're saved, if you're born again, then uh, you're the one that is wealthy. You are doing quite well. And uh, try to get yourself out of debt because debt is is a prison. Um, you're not to owe any man anything. Um, so uh, that is going to be it for this video and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.